much games. Minions, assemble! Settle down, everyone! I have an announcement to make. Remember what I told you, that we are going to pull off the most amazing heist of all time by stealing the moon? Yeah! Right. And that all I had to do was get a bank loan to build a rocket and we were all set? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, well, that didn't work out so good. Yeah. Mr. Perkins at the Bank of Evil says we have to start paying instead of borrowing, or else he will do unpleasant things to me. I heard that, Tim. Anyway, I have decided that none of that matters. Out there in the world are plenty of rocket parts. All we have to do is find them and take them for ourselves. Before Vector can build his rocket and get there first. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, a new villain, Vector. He also, it seems, wants the moon. So, we're kind of in a race to get there, alright? Don't worry, don't worry. We are much, much smarter than Vector. Trust me. Really? Dr. Navario has assured me that he can, if we get all the parts, Build the rocket. After that, the moon belongs to the number one master villain in the world and his awesome team of minions! That's us. <laughs> okay, let's let's all get ready, everybody. We have some training to do before our first hike. <laughs> Running off, let's take a look at how weapons and minions work. First, there's the air gun. It could wait, wait, why is it that you have given me an air gun? No, oh, hold up. You told me to build a weapon that could blow away anything. If you never mind, what will you say? Uh, yes, well, the air gun doubles your jump height. Just jump a second time while in the air to activate it! Give it a go! <laughs> the air gun can indeed blow away some enemies. Why not try it out on this fella? <laughs> enemies that run away can't hurt you. And attacking things that can't hurt you is... well, despicable. Doing things like that increases your level of despicableness. Your despicable rating, if you will. We'll talk more about that later. Your trusty freeze ray can do lots of cool stuff. <laughs> For instance, you can blast these hot platform thingies and make them safe to jump on. If the ice starts melting, you can re 
freeze the platform. But you have to be quick. These moving platform doohickey thingamajigs also freeze. They stay still when you shoot them. want to avoid being crashed. You can freeze pistons to make a safe path. of your enemies too. Try blasting these laser turrets and see what happens. Now, every enemy can be defeated by at least one of your weapons. Oh, I always forget which is which. Uh, you, you'll just have to experiment. But experimenting is fun. As I said before, there are plenty of ways to be despicable. Whenever you come across objects like these, you can do marvellously nasty things to them. Go on, try it! Kids, don't try this at all. I am no art critic, but I know what I like. <clears throat> you can also be despicable to your minions. They might complain, but they'll always come back for more. Go on, give it a go. get rewards and, and bonuses for being despicable, so you might as well have some fun with it. When running and jumping won't get you through a situation, it's time to send in the minions. They can help you with puzzles. They're very useful in that way. Now, you can command the minions to stand in formations, each of which is affected by your weapons. Now, minions must be in formation before your weapons affect them. Create a single minion formation and then blast it with your freeze ray. <laughs> that was fun, but it can be useful too. Now, some buttons, like that yellow one, stay down when pressed. Go ahead, step on it. Now, others, like that red one, only stay down if there's something holding them down. Order a minion onto the button and make an ice block, like you did before. Now, you should be able to use ice block minions to weigh down just about anything and to act as floating platforms in water. Uh, not that I've tried that, of course. Uh, 
your air gun should also affect the minions. Uh, I think. Order a single minion to stand directly below the button on the ceiling, and then hit him with the air gun. <laughs> Oh, he's got a bit of an inflated opinion of himself, hasn't he? Well, at least he's good at pressing overhead buttons and lifting things, I suppose. You can also make minion towers. Now place a tower formation on your side of that gap in the floor and blast it with your air gun. You can use a minion bridge to cross gaps, to support other formations, and to catch falling objects. Now, let's try the circle formation. Set up a circle formation and then hit it with the air gun. A minion fan club! <laughs> See how it moves the floating minion so it can get to the overhead button. You can get rid of a formation when you don't need it anymore. Use the controls to cycle through your formations and disband the fan. It's the moon before me. I am coming out there to get you. Good. When you don't have enough minions to make new formations, you can just get rid of formations you don't need anymore to free some up. Well, don't just stand there. Get going. I wonder what would happen if you used the freeze ray and the air gun together. Shouldn't be too dangerous. Well, let's give it a go. Huh. Let's see. Why not try operating that button there using ice and wind? So make an ice block and then blast it with the air gun. I wondered where I put that thing. <laughs> well, no matter. Let's see if we can get it out of your way. Make a circle formation and freeze it with the freeze ray. Then blast the ice ball with the air gun to roll it into the statue. Also make an ice tower, which blocks openings and stops wind from fans and stuff like that. Go ahead and make one. Now, let's see what the air gun does to it. <laughs> That wasn't very useful, was it? Ahead 
ahead of you is a puzzle map pickup. Each one provides details on how to complete one puzzle of your choice. To use a puzzle pickup when you're in a puzzle room, go to the puzzle room zoom mode and activate the puzzle map. And scroll through the steps. Pick it up and try it. Thank you. Alright, that, well that, that was a freebie. When you're out in the real world, you'll need to conserve puzzle maps. You don't have enough for all of the puzzles. Let's move along. I've located an engine for the rocket. In the 60s, there was this fellow called Cam Shaft that became famous for stealing engines of all sorts. He was an awesome mechanic and his greatest creation was a cluster of rocket engines that he sort of patched together from old missiles. It should work beautifully for our purposes. Now, I'm more of an idea guy than a planner so, Dave here will explain the rest. Dangerous. We engine and Get out! Sounds easy enough. Good luck, crew. This 
was nothing to plan. Cover that contingency. Michelangelo, I am not. Well, so much for that. Get past this. Well, perhaps something else then. Gru, 
was here. More stuff! I like stuff! Could you be more careful, please? You're controlling me? this time Oh just so that one ah! Oh this was the time to help well, Why does this keep happening Tonight's top story, a daring break-in at a local building today has authorities baffled. A businessman who works in the building, one Mr. Perkins, says the robbery occurred at around noon. He had no further details on the incident other than to say that the building was, quote, not, repeat, not a bank. Who said anything about a bank? An object which appeared to be a rocket engine of some sort was seen being carried through downtown streets by what witnesses describe as a group of very short plumbers in overalls. More details as they become available. We need hull plating for the rocket that can take a lot of pressure. And I know just where to get it. Vector's there. And Tim here will fill you in on the details. Why 
Right, so, questions? No? Off you go then! country now, you old has-been.
here. Michelangelo, I'm not. Kids, don't try this at home. You think you can get away with stealing my stuff?
Invention! The Magnet Gun! Attractive, isn't it? Can it? Attract? Magnets attract? Yes, yes, and your sense of humor repels. Can we move this along, please? Party pooper. Now, the Magnet Gun lets you move platforms that are hidden, but are conveniently made of metal. Those platforms jammed in the wall, there for instance. Blast them with the magnet gun to pull them out and make a jumping path. But don't stay out for long, so be quick about it. platform and the walls are magnetizable. Magnet. Is that a word? No. Uh, you can blast the wall to move towards it. Give it a try. <laughs> now, let's see if you've been listening. Use the magnet gun, freezeway, and air gun to navigate your way to the exit door. the minions on iron supplements for weeks, so they should be easily magnetized. Magnetized minions are attracted to magnets, like the one up there, if they're close enough. This can be used to move heavy objects from your path. Place a minion tower on top of that pipe, and then zap it with the magnet gun. <laughs> Quite uplifting! <laughs> Moving on! That gearbox there opens the door. 
but it's missing again. Now, according to my calculations, magnetising a circle formation in front of the gearbox will make a minion gear that fits quite nicely. I hope. Let's try it. All you need is power! Oh, I bet magnetised minions are great conductors. Order a single minion into the electrical box and then hit him with a magnet gun! <laughs> Just as I thought. <laughs> now you know all there is to know about the magnet gun. Let me know how it works in the field. Oh, and uh, could you tell me what it's like outside the lab? I uh, don't get out much. I'm afraid my plan for an electrical power source for the rocket came up a bit short. That guy Nicolo's some got stupid plan. No, it was a lovely plan. It's not my fault you couldn't manage to find me enough extension cords to stretch 250,000 miles. So, anyway, backup plan. There was a villain called Nick Eon who used to be really into neon signs. He stripped Vegas clean back in 82. He installed a small nuclear reactor in his bank vault to power his collection. It should be perfect for our purposes. Back at the door, then Nick Leon. Oh, he's, uh, he's not around anymore. Radiation poisoning. Yikes! Uh, at any rate, the reactor is waiting for us in the Bank of Evil. Get in there and bring it back.
that is beautiful. This is new. What now? What am I missing here? Really? That's beautiful. Minions to the group play. be a backseat pilot, but I have some tips for you. The minion ship ahead of you is for transporting the item you steal. It's fully shielded, so you can just sit back and... Oh, wait. I, um, you forgot to install the shields. So I suppose it's up to you to keep them safe. The minion ship won't make it if you don't stick with them. Oh, and uh, make sure you don't get destroyed either. That would be rather unfortunate. I've uh, scattered some goodies along your course that should help you with any enemies you encounter.
Heists or hoaxes? Reports have come in from all over the viewing area of the theft of what appeared to be a nuclear reactor and of a daring air battle in the skies above our town. The first word of this amazing story came from the vicinity of this office building, where reported robbery of a facility that was not a bank took place not long ago. Are pollutants in the water supply just making the population crazy? Again! Or is our fair city under siege by a despicable master villain bent on destroying us all? Stay tuned for more information as this horrifying story continues to unfold. Now we go live to our own happy homemaker, Betsy Callahan, who has some yummy recipes that won't break your bank. Betsy? We need a radar tracking system for the rocket, and Dave has managed to locate one. powerful radar, Secure facility, as an Amakota set up a problem. Vector. Yes, you will have to go and get the item from Vector's lair. But the good news is that this facility is so heavily defended, they'll never expect you to try and break into it. This is the good news. Oh, I'm sure you'll have no problem. You're a little scrapper. <laughs> have a nice trip.
much better. Kids, don't try this at home.
Your vector won't mind us borrowing this. Tada! Oh, that's good. Well, well, the crew's back for more.
more careful, Blue. Yo, how long have you been playing? Another excellent weapon for your arsenal, crew. Come down to the training level and I'll see if I can remember what it does. is coming along even better than I'd hoped. We actually have the next parts I need. Those stabiliser fins the minions picked up at Walmart. So, crew, you can... things to become sticky. I call it the web gun. Well, how very original of you. You're very good at naming of the weapons thing. Oh, uh, well, thank you very much. If you like the name, just wait until you see what it can do. And now the web gun temporarily stops things from spinning. Bloodies whirly piggies here, so you can jump on them, and if ever you need to unweb something, you can always blast it with the freeze ray. Freeze ray!
can also stop enemies, like boombots. Come on, shoot them in the barrel. You, you're gonna love this. My doddering tutorial advice has been worth the time it took to record it. Use all of your weapons to reach the pickup item that I've placed up ahead. Time to web some minions! But first, step on that button. You need to hold that piston in place to make a bridge. That's where a sticky minion comes in handy. Order a single minion to stand in front of the piston and blast him with the web gun. Then, step on the button again. Perfect! You can use a webbed tower formation in the same way if you need to stop taller or larger objects. Now here's something I've been dying to try. Step on the button to activate the bomb dispenser above. You need the bomb to destroy the wall blocking the door. And I think I know just how to do it. Make a circle formation on the target and blast it with your web gun. Then, step on the bomb release button again. Web trampoline! It works! <laughs> I bet. You could set up a whole series of trampolines if you needed to bounce an object more than once. Well, that about wraps it up. Get it? Web? Wrapped up? No? <clears throat> yes. You can come back and run the training course any time you want. Understand, however, that I will say precisely the same things if you visit again. Unfortunately, our time and budget only allowed us to create one set of voiceovers for the tutorial area. Sorry about that. is coming along even better than I'd hoped. We actually have the next parts I need. Those stabiliser fins the minions picked up at Walmart. So, crew, you can
can just relax for the moment because... Hello, Blue. Vector! Ah! Yes, the little yellow thing is right. It's me, Vector. If you think I'm going to let you get away with this moon heist thing, you are as pathetic as your lab's defensive systems. That's right, I broke in, no problem, easy peasy. Figured I'd just grab those stabilizer fins and use them for my own moon rocket. Ah! That's right, I'm going to steal the moon before you do. Unpredictable! Hey, nah, Makasaka, fins. Well, no, I didn't get the fins. But I did manage to turn all of your tricks and traps against you, so good luck getting those fins, Gru. By the time you finish fiddling around, I already have a miniature moon to add to my collection. Oh, yeah! Much better. Yes, that's more like.
looks painful. There's a lot to go through for something I already own. Oh, like you can do better.
news and bad news, crew. The good news is that I found a fully operational command module for the rocket. My brother, Reprehensio, built one for the rocket that his former boss, Drew, was going to use to steal Mars a while back. That turned out badly, so he doesn't need it anymore. The bad news is that, unlike myself, Reprehensio can be a bit, shall we say, absent-minded. Oh, do tell. Yeah, 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 difficult to believe, I know. Anyway, instead of shipping it to you, Gru, he sort of shipped it to Drew. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, ooh. Drew's vault at the Bank of Evil, to be precise. Drew isn't with us anymore. What happened to him? Detective Command Module. That's encouraging. Uh, yes, but Reprehensio says the problem has been corrected. Not to worry, it's sitting in his vault at the Bank of Evil. Oh, and um, Reprehensio accidentally called the bank when he meant to call me. So they sort of know you're coming. <laughs> You'd better approach by air. Good luck, crew!
Whatever happened to keys and locks? That was useless! Complication. Another way around.
get back to the lab! Michelangelo, I am not. Tada! The downtown area is buzzing as yet another daring robbery is pulled off in broad daylight. The third such crime in as many days, this is the first one that has been positively confirmed by eyewitness accounts. One witness of the event described the heist as totally cool, mon, and said that someone who could pull off such a despicable act must be one of the greatest criminal minds of all time. When asked whether he thought that the man behind the heist might be the up-and-coming supervillain Vector, the witness turned surly and stormed off. Authorities are baffled, and it seems clear that we're in for at least four to five more daring heists before it's game over for the mastermind of this crime spree.
I forgot about gas! Oh, is that what it is I am smelling? Uh, no, that was Dave. But that's not what I mean. We need fuel for the rocket. And, as the game design would have it, I know where you can find some. The highest security vault in the Bank of Evil is owned by a Mr. Hugh Morgan. Now, he has this obsession with ice cream and has commissioned dozens of works of art on the theme. He also has one of the biggest private ice cream sellers of all time. Explain to Gru why this is important, Dave. Banana splits! <coughs> Banana! Oh, why it's important to the mission, Dave! <coughs> Liquid nitrogen! That's right! The best rocket fuel there is! Morgan uses it to keep his ice cream frozen. And there's a fresh canister stored in the vault. Go get it, crew. The moon is so close now, I can smell it. Or I could, if smells travelled through space. And if the moon were actually physically closer. Oh, anyway, good luck. And bring back some Tutti Fruity. That stuff's yummy.
there we go. That is beautiful. Now, perhaps something else then. Again, maybe not. Don't you think? Well, that was worth a try. So much for that.
please. Come on. Well, that was worth a try. But I know what I like. Hmm, <laughs> Michelangelo, I'm not.
there. Rocket engine, a portable nuclear reactor, a spacecraft command module, and now, a canister of liquid nitrogen. This is the shopping list of the mysterious thief who's been repeatedly plundering the downtown area for the past eight levels, er, uh, days or so. A team of crime scene investigators has been working around the clock to solve this baffling case. Although their conclusions are far from final, they have determined what the villain is most likely constructing. A nuclear-powered, rocket-propelled freezer with a seat. The uses to which a clever villain could put such a diabolical device are endless. Stay tuned as further developments unfold. Good! As you know, we need a high-pressure tank to hold the rocket's fuel. I've found one that will do nicely. Unfortunately, it belongs to Vector. And of course, there are probably insanely complex traps that will make it very hard to get to. Oh, and at this point in the game, I'm pretty sure he knows you're coming. So, good luck with that. Now, Tim and Dave have a map and some of their little minion babblings to share. <laughs> Super dangerous. That doesn't make it Nikki Tutama had a ridiculously hazardous for Zappa. No, I'm sure Gru is perfectly fine with the plane. Off you go, Gru. You go and get the whatchamacallit and bring it back. And then I'll do whatever it is that I do.
this? Michelangelo, I'm not. Here we go. More danger. 
Nice try, but no. Get gun. Can it never be just walking through the door? Enough is enough already! This is not working! Challenging. I don't like this. So much for that.
now you have an original group. Hmm, Michelangelo, I'm not.
As you know, there's one more piece of hardware we need. A shrink ray. Now, we had one, of course, but as you may recall, Vector was able to... How to put this delicately? Steal it right out from under your nose? So, now, your only choice is to break into his lab, find the shrink Hold ray, on, and... just one minute there, Gramps. Do you think I'm going to let Gru and those little yellow things of his just walk into the fortress of Vectitude and steal my shrink ray? Well, that would be nice, yes. Well, forget it. My defensive systems are running at full vectitudinal capacity, which, in case you don't know, is pretty darn good. So if Gru comes snooping around here again, he better watch his step. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, no. You heard him, Gru. This is probably the toughest job yet.
하다 Michelangelo, I'm not. Game designers always with the traps and the puzzles.
designs that you think. Well, that was worth a try. This is just crazy! itself, you know.
Don't try this at home. I said the shrink ray is in another direction. Don't you listen? Stop right now. One more level and the moon is mine.
rocket is completed and the shrink ray is charged and ready to go. Ah. Yes! But the only problem is that I've discovered that Vector has his rocket ready as well. Ah. But you could still make it to the moon first, if you hurry. Yay! Of course, that may be difficult because the lab defences have been activated again. Ah. You see, the inverse calibration on the main stage flux chillers backfired when the system was purged, causing a massive feedback loop in the compensator. Yeah. Huh? What? Oh. Ah. It means the game designers always make the last level the hardest. Just go and get to the rocket before Vector does. Yeah. Yeah.
That is beautiful. This is dangerous. I need a better agent. Oh, this looks tricky. Yeah, so much for that.
that is a beauty. This is it! Next up! The moon! 
Oh, Dave, how many times have I told you to take care of that before the level starts? <laughs> no, no, not now. You will have to wait until we get there. <laughs> Victor is ahead of you, Gru. You must stay with him, or all is lost! Sucker now, and who's not the sucker? Me! Oh yeah! <laughs> this is not good. Control, this is crew. Mayday, I need help now. Oh no! Crew, crew, crew! Ah, hello, back in the lab. Someone gets a moment. Could I have a little help here, please? Hey? Uh, oh, sorry about that, crew. It's a minor distraction. Your course should be corrected now. Yes, but uh, no, it can't be. Oh yeah, who's got the moon now? Me, Vector. That's who. Best villain ever. Oh yeah. No, no. Vector is taking the moon. Hard. Played so many levels. I can't let him have it. Drew, you can still stop him. I've sent a signal to reverse your shrink ray. If you get there quickly, I am on it. Uh, come to Vector, you beautiful little moon. Oh, did not see that coming. Oh yeah! <laughs> Sweet. Who just orchestrated the first Grunar Eclipse? Huh? This guy! That's me! Gonna be famous! 13th man on the moon! Ow! Yeah! Ta-da! Ah. 